a New York City chicken shop has replaced its cashiers with a woman in the Philippines who interacts with in-store customers over Zoom. According to 404 Media, a new one for yeah, the- Yeah, 404 Media. I'm not, I'm not that, familiar with them prior that, to this, but- so, so is that like, is that like you don't get the information because it's like seven digits less than 411? Like, oh, I was I, thinking I don't like 404 Forbidden Air, like the, oh, like this, this like page is not loading. Error. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that is what it is. Okay, yeah. well smart, anyway, man, smart. according to 404 Media, the cashier at Sansun Chicken in East Village, New York City, sits on a computer monitor on top of an empty cashier desk and interacts with customers via a virtual Zoom background with the store's logo. Don't worry, it's there. Um, an iPad that would normally serve as a payment terminal reads, welcome to my store in Comic Sans. Don't know why that's important. Uh, when the cashier- Who leaves, writes these things here? I don't know, definitely a former art director who's like, Comic Sans, ugh. What, who decides to include them in the headline reads too? A former uh, art director. Yours truly. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. When the cashier leaves to take a break, she switches her background to say, the cashier will be back. On a piece of paper taped to the cash register and facing customers is the handwritten Zoom meeting ID and password, presumably so a human employee at the restaurant can dial in the remote worker. Chris, yeah. uh, what do you think of, of this Samsung shenanigans here happening? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to get my chicken this way, and I love this. Oh I, I think God. it's great. Um, Why? Well, I, I think, well, I think here's the thing. I think no doubt, especially as you read the experience, like it, it probably sucks, right? It's terrible. Yeah. But if you saw the pictures, it looks awful. Right. It looks awful, but it's only mile one of the marathon of getting this idea to work, you know, and getting it to work mm -hmm. at scale. Like Chad Lusk, we were going to have on the show, we were talking to him earlier. He brought up how this is actually the idea that's in Back to the Future 2. And so like, you know, and that was 25, years Yeah, maybe there's a reason ago. that it is not happening 25 no but i see i disagree later. so like to me like imagine if there was no latency in the interaction your order was appearing before you on the screen as you say it to somebody just like at the drive through and and what's what's how's it really that different than using your mobile phone or a kiosk at mcdonald's so very you think so because yeah i don't think so because stores for store we've heard it at wrc right stores are getting harder and harder to staff yes the agreed. cost of labor is going up as well mm -hmm. so like it's it it makes sense to experiment with this and for me i don't see it as any different like i don't understand why drive throughs don't do this already you don't see the person at the drive through now and there's latency in the drive through experience so like why do you need somebody there i just think I, I, I give the Samsung chicken people all the credit in the world for having the guts to do this and see if it works. Because if the chicken's good, people are still going to go, in my I, opinion. I guess, but, you know, this is going to probably be an unpopular opinion. But I think if we're going to start to see any drop in just human interaction overall, um, even though we need these jobs as entry-level jobs for people to participate in, it's going to be the QSR industry. And I yep. because I don't think that you need a person at all, Chris. I hate to say it. I, I think that with the the advances and the adoption of mobile ordering from everywhere from McDonald's to Starbucks, like ordering just Oh, you just your, for you just force think, a digital you're saying you're you, going even more extreme. You're I saying am. force a digital interaction. I am. I think okay. especially right. for a small I operator like this. Like, this. like I don't think that I don't I would not have gone the route of of worrying about onboarding having an employee in the store right, be responsible right, for right. connecting a zoom like why right. don't you just force mobile ordering right. and then go backward if you really feel like you need right. a human in the loop in this right. case then maybe you you yeah. figure out how to rearrange store it's staffing good. and things like that like i just think yeah. going directly to mobile ordering makes the most sense people prefer it because yeah. you get to put your own requests in or you you know especially with the it's starbucks do, you're app. doing like, it on doordash all the time you're starbucks, doing it right. all yeah. the time yeah. i think right. that adoption great point we, adoption has gotten to the point especially when you talk about Great like point. you can't hire people the cost for for um qsr workers in california the ba it's 20 dollars an hour minimum wage now in california yeah. for these types of workers like i just don't understand how the economics continue to work with humans in this place and the last thing i'll say is the last yesterday we're in the lobby right there's a there's a starbucks here in the lobby 
the person just goes and pushes a button and makes the coffee right. and hands it to me now. Right. Like these are scenarios <laughs> the Euro- where you're like, right. the European coffee making. Yes. Let's just yeah. be real about yeah. this. Where are humans best serving this experience? And it's maybe in the greeting. It's maybe in something else. It's not with the ordering platform. So I would just do away with this altogether. Well, I stand corrected. And I think, I think you got me convinced. Yeah. That's the way to go. Yeah. That's the way to go. If you're just going to, if you're going to do this anyway, cause people are going to be happy, just force it to happen. Yeah. I think that's a really smart point. Yeah, kudos.